No one wants to fight their best friend, but Ladybug and Cat Noir occasionally find themselves on opposite sides. In the few instances where the heroes meet each other in battle, Ladybug often outwits her partner alongside their enemies, as Cat Noir is notorious for falling under a villain's control. His powers and experience can allow him to do significant damage, so in today's video, we're reviewing some of the dynamic duo's fight scenes and how they shape up among each other. Looking for my Akuma, m'lady? <laughs> Number 1. Seeing Double Always one step ahead, Natalie does all she can to keep Gabriel out of trouble. One of her schemes occurs in the episode Ladybug, when she creates who she believes to be the ultimate Senta monster. The creature, referred to as Sentabug, looks and acts just like the real Ladybug, and even has the same ability to create lucky charms. Unable to tell the Senta monster apart from the real Ladybug, Cat Noir becomes tricked by his enemy, who pretends she's in love with him. On a rooftop, the pair share sweet words and a love confession that Cat Noir had wanted to hear for a long time. It's the perfect way to manipulate his emotions and earn his trust so she could steal his miraculous from under his nose. Fortunately, the real Ladybug arrived in the nick of time. She urges Cat Noir to see reason, but he struggles to listen to his head rather than his heart. Desperate for his desire to be genuine, he throws his weapon at the real Ladybug. Seeing double, he prepares to cataclysm the real Ladybug's earrings. But Myra gives up her scheme to prevent him from destroying a miraculous. Watch it, Cat Noir! You're confusing uh, fantasy with reality! You're not Ladybug? No, she's not me! Number 2. A Noble Sacrifice Marinette has had luck on her side so far and avoids any potential akumatizations that come her way. In the episode Zombizu, a bad interaction with Chloe leaves her angry and easy prey for Hawkmoth, but fortunately her caring teacher Miss Bustier steps in to help save her. She keeps Marinette calm but becomes the Akuma's next target, causing her to transform into the titular villain. Zombizu creates a horde of love-spreading zombies throughout Paris. The concept of shared love doesn't sound so bad. In reality, no one can control their true thoughts or feelings. Cat Noir becomes one of the mindless zombies when he and Ladybug give their all to protect Chloe from Zombizu. As they climb the Eiffel Tower, he throws himself in front of a crowd, sacrificing himself for Ladybug to give her more time to carry out their mission. Now a member of Zombizu's forces, Cat Noir hunts Ladybug down, chasing her around a room in the Eiffel Tower, while she tries to figure out her lucky charm. Her savior comes from an unlikely place as Chloe dives into Cat Noir. She clings to him, saving Ladybug and, indirectly, all of Paris. You're the only one who can fix this for us. No arguing now! <laughs> Number 3. Conflicting Emotions Emotions can be just as complicated as the situations that cause them, a lesson Ladybug learns in Psych Comedian. The episode follows the comedian Harry Clown as he tries to change his career with a new movie script. When Bob Roth laughs in his face and ridicules his chances, Harry becomes akumatized and he outsmarts Ladybug without breaking a sweat. Psy Comedian's power is to change someone's emotions when they look at his corresponding mask. Ladybug and Cat Noir mistake his akumatized object, which causes Ladybug to get caught by Psy Comedian's power. Enraged, she doesn't care who's standing in her way because they'll be meeting her fists. Cat Noir tries to calm her down but ends up in a fight instead. He knows how dangerous Ladybug is when she's angry, and he has to stay on his toes to avoid her quick attacks. When Psy Comedian tries to take advantage of the distraction, Cat Noir narrowly avoids any changed emotions while managing to detain Ladybug using his stick. He takes Ladybug away from the fight entirely, but to keep himself safe from her uncontrollable rage and continued attempts to hurt him, he wraps her within the string of her yo-yo, and later a rug, until she's willing to cooperate. Milady, Psycho Median made you lose control of your emotions. Just breathe, calm down. I'm perfectly calm! You're the one getting on my nerves with your killed your kitty advice! <laughs> Number 4. Strings Attached it can hurt a child's feelings when their parents refuse to listen, and in the world of Miraculous, an observant parent is all it takes for an akumatization. After babysitting for Nadia Shamuk in Puppeteer, Marinette offers to send her daughter Mino home with a ladybug doll. Nadia refuses, which leads to Mino becoming the episode's villain. Puppeteer's abilities allow her to control a doll and their likeness in the real world. She has dolls of Lady Wi-Fi, Roger Cup, and the Evil Illustrator. But throughout the episode, she also gains control of Cat Noir's doll. With the fight turning into one hero against five enemies, Ladybug must do an all-out brawl. After a battle on the news station's roof, where she launches the controlled Cat Noir into the Seine, her lucky charm gives her another yo-yo, a dangerous weapon in her capable hands. Cat Noir leads the charge, rushing Ladybug while his new teammates attack her on all sides. But her yo-yos are quicker, and she disposes of their threats with ease, including her fellow hero, who stays down once he's thrown to the side. You won't get our miraculouses! Oh yeah! <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Number 5. Following Orders Miraculous Ladybug is a series that isn't afraid to show the extremes of love. Sometimes caring for someone can make you do questionable things on their behalf. That's the case with Rose in Princess Fragrance, when she's akumatized after Chloe ridicules her feelings for Prince Ali. 
Princess Fragrance's perfume makes her irresistible, which allows her to convince anyone she sprays to obey her. Naturally, Cat Noir does his best to protect Prince Ali, but without Ladybug to help watch his back, it doesn't take long for him to end up under Princess Fragrance's control. When she eventually does arrive to save Prince Ali, she finds Cat Noir and others standing in her way. The clip on her nose protects her from Princess Fragrance, but doesn't save her from the rapid series of strikes and kicks delivered by Cat Noir. With the other hero so determined to steal her miraculous, Ladybug must free him of the villain's control rather than defeat him in battle. To do so, she tricks him into summoning his cataclysm, which she uses to set off a fireworks display to disrupt Princess Fragrance's attempts to control all of Paris. She then tosses Cat Noir into the river where he remains out of the way, until Ladybug defeats Princess Fragrance and restores his free will. Can't hit me! <laughs> Number 6. Hate at First Sight in the earlier seasons of Miraculous, Cat Noir always looks for new ways to confess his love to Ladybug. The episode Dark Cupid seems to provide him with the perfect opportunity, as it takes place during Valentine's Day. Unfortunately, while Cat Noir plans to start a new love story, Chloe ruins one of her own by rejecting Kim and making fun of his heartfelt attempt to win her over. When Kim is akumatized into the hate-spreading villain Dark Cupid, he doesn't hesitate to spread his negative emotions across Paris by shooting others with his love-altering bow and arrow. Cat Noir is on the cusp of a confession when he notices Dark Cupid and takes the arrow meant for Ladybug. Now full of hate for the person he once loved, Cat Noir doesn't hold any punches as he chases Ladybug throughout Paris. His attacks are full force as his staff slams into his environment or cuts through the wind. He grunts with the effort, a telltale sign that he'll hurt Ladybug if that's what it takes to defeat her. His plans for a flawless victory become cut short by a completely unexpected move from Ladybug, when she determines his hatefulness has a weakness, true love's kiss. I look out! <gasps> Cat Noir! Number 7. Cuddly and Dangerous Chloe has been through many ups and downs in the series and sometimes takes the heroes with her. In Despair Bear, after pulling the fire alarm gets the entire class in trouble, Adrian threatens to end his friendship with Chloe if she can't learn to be kind. Chloe is devastated by this news, but her butler, Armand, tries to help her by using her childhood stuffed animal to encourage good behavior at a party they throw for her classmates. Unfortunately, Chloe can only keep the act on for so long, and fires Armand when the party doesn't go her way. When he's akumatized, he antagonizes Chloe by controlling the people at her party, including Cat Noir, who comes to save her. With Despair Bear latched onto his leg, Cat Noir must do anything the villain wants, including attacking Ladybug with no mercy. He first tries to take her Miraculous, but when she outmaneuvers him, he tries to get away with a cataclysm to her face. The move could have killed her on the spot, but Chloe rushes in to pull him by the tail. Ladybug recovers by summoning her lucky charm and quickly escaping. But Cat Noir pursues her through the Grand Hotel. Their fight would be a close call, but Chloe willingly helps Ladybug, giving her a helpful ally from the most unlikely places. Cat Noir, it's me! Stop it! <laughs> Number 8. Cataclysmic Proportions any diehard fan of Miraculous remembers the significant conflict between Ladybug and the akumatized Cat Noir. The battle featured in Cat Blanc has consequences for Miraculous Ladybug's story. It teaches Marinette that she can't trust her fellow hero with her secret identity, and it shows fans what could happen if Marinette and Adrian learn the truth too soon. The episode follows Ladybug as she tries to restore an alternate timeline, a timeline where Cat Noir has turned evil and destroyed the world. She goes into the fight without context and finds Cat Blanc is eager to steal her Miraculous. The heartbroken hero only wants to restore what he lost, but to him, making a world-altering wish is the only solution. The two fight against the broken backdrop of a destroyed Paris with collapsed buildings floating in the rising ocean. And alternate versions of Ladybug and Hawk Moth stand below the water, nothing more than dust. Ladybug and Cat Blanc battle for the Miraculouses, but to save herself from losing to a cataclysm, Ladybug must exploit the romantic feelings Cat Blanc has for her to win. We're gonna fix everything now that you're back and now that you're going to give me your Miraculous! <laughs> <sighs> While no one likes to see their favorite heroes at odds, their fight sequences are thrilling. Ladybug and Cat Noir know each other like the back of their hand, which makes any moments of conflict between them emotional and watchworthy. Their bond and friendship may be stronger than ever, but in the seasons to come, either of them could end up under another villain's control. Luckily, they each have a fantastic partner they can depend on to save them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Ah!